Okay, back again. It's time to show off an addition, a new feature of Rocket Launcher. As you can see, this is my uh, DSi XL, and this is uh, Mario 64. It's not in its original case anymore, but this is the, um, let's see if I can get this in camera, the original PCB for it. Let me actually show you there. Not hard to see, but that's what it is. So basically, currently Rocket Launcher only supports um, uh, flash carts that you can change the internal ROM of. But I found a way around that. Instead, in this version, I'll put a payload in the whitelist itself and have ARM7 jump back into it because the entire whitelist is still in RAM during the overflow. And the, neat, and the trick is I find a random part, piece of data in the Mario ROM that happens to contain the jump address that goes back into the whitelist. Now, it's extremely unlikely I can get it to land exactly in the area I want. So instead, I try to aim for an, a safe spot where I can store the minimum two upcodes needed to make ARM7 jump a second time. By that point, I can just have it jump directly where I, exactly where I want. So currently, um, this makes it jump into um, so the game here. It makes it jump into uh, an unused dummy game entry that I added to section two specifically. And it happens to be the hash for that dummy entry, which isn't used right now. So it's safe to put code there. And then we have ARM7 jump there from the offset I happen to find in the Mario, Kart, Mario 64 game. And it, then it jumps again into one of the unused RSA sections of um, section three. There's uh, three sections to the the Escort whitelist whitelist, and each one has an RSA that is supposed to be checked by launcher. But of course, we know in 1.4, uh, launcher doesn't check them, and so I can put anything I want in there, and launcher won't care. And in this instance, I put a, a basic test payload in there. Uh, Y'all remember the buzz video? The one where uh, it buzzes while well, you're about to see that happen again. So here's the test app I'm using to reboot into the Mario game because Mario is not an auto boot title. Uh, the uh, DS download PlayStation ROMs are, but hardly anybody has those, so I really don't plan on adding support for them. But, for the, but, but that's not a problem because we can abuse a certain feature of the DSi that not many people know about. There's a dev app called TWLN Menu that is only available for dev units. And no, the way that app works is a lot like a dev menu for 3DS. That it lets you install TAD files, the equivalent to CIA files on 3DS. And it also lets you boot games that you have installed on the console. Now, it doesn't directly parse the SRLs and load them and boot them. It still has Launcher do that. So it, it sends, um, it puts special code into ARM uh, shared ARM9 and ARM7 RAM at like uh, 0x2 zero x two zero x two million re well, region. Well, anyway, I accidentally started it. <laughs> well, there you go. As you can see there, it's buzzing because it worked. And this is just the standard off-the-shelf Mario Kart game. No, not Mario Kart, Mario 64 DS. Uh, it could support Mario Kart if I had found an offset for it. But I'll show you what Mario looks like in the menu. Again, the requirement is still the same. You have to have an exploitable DSiWare app that has NAND access. And then from there, you install the modified DS cart whitelist. And from there, theoretically, that's all you have to do. The, um, the version for the flashcards will still be a thing. That'll just be released later because there's not a whole lot of flashcards we support yet, and the, the flashing tools I currently have are pretty bodgy, and I want something better uh, uh, available before I release it. So basically, um, there you go. We Rocket Launcher will be supporting retail carts, so you will not have to buy piracy products to run this. And that's always a good thing. Now, theoretically, uh, if you really wanted to stay off the piracy route, you could get a DSi NAND mod it, Buy an exploitable uh, TWL slot one game like uh, Biggest Loser to retrieve your SID with. Um, then you can um, boot, uh, get data management to export an SRL TAD from uh, data management to your SD, and you can extract the console ID from that. 
And then from there, um, let's see. Then from there, you can just uh, decrypt your NAND by dumping your NAND from a NAND mod. Uh, inject the DS card whitelist. Uh, downgrade your console to 1.4 if it's not on 1.4, or upgrade if it's on an older version. And then change your payload on your biggest loser to the special reboot app. And I think it'll even work in NTR mode. All you really have to do is make sure certain data is in ARM 9 RAM, main RAM. It's written to by ARM 7 in this particular program, but I, I think it doesn't really matter. But there you go. Rocket Launcher will support retail carts. So if you do not have one of the very small list of flash carts that this will eventually support, you can go this route. The auto boot version will still be a thing, and it still works with this cart whitelist white I have set up here. So don't worry, that's not going anywhere. 